Good late Saturday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this October 14th of 2017. It was a quiet day to start. It turned out to be a warm day with highs back into the middle, if not upper 80s. But we have a cold front working through that not only will give us thunderstorms to take us into the overnight, but it will definitely live up to its name by bringing in quite a bit of cooler air. Wait till you see where we go temperature-wise we go into your Sunday. Let's get to the maps, though. Here's the Skywatch Storm Tracker. We have seen thunderstorms really get going this afternoon just outside of the area along the Kansas Turnpike from, oh, let's say Kansas City, Topeka, back down through Wichita. As the storms work through the Kansas side, we have definitely seen a fair share of uh, wind damage reports and wind gusts estimated between 60 to 80 miles per hour. Thankfully, no tornado warnings were issued when these storms worked on through. But, of course, again, you can see how we had at least a few hail reports. But overall, this was a wind event. Again, wind gusts anywhere from 60 to 80 miles per hour. Not to mention some wind damage anywhere from uh, trees down, some tree limbs down, some power poles snapped, some power lines going down, and even um, a couple of roofs missing some shingles. In general, though, we are pretty much done with the severe threat as we go through the rest of the night and into early Sunday morning. In fact, we're seeing the lightning detector really having a hard time finding any lightning with the uh, rain that's still working through. Positive sign that will keep things pretty calm relatively as we go through the overnight. Now, here's the other part of the equation. The cold front that triggered the thunderstorms, it's really starting to bring in the cooler air. Everybody, keeping in mind, had a warm day with mid to upper 80s for highs. You can easily tell at 1058 where the front is. We have 78 in Joplin, 78 in Neosho, 79 in Grove. Then we dropped to 69 in Parson, 62 in Chanute, 60 in Iola, and even a 58 degree reading out in Fredonia. So again, you can easily tell based on how the temperature map set up and how the uh, wind particles or wind arrows are showing where the front is. It is definitely working on through. Again, once we get on the back side of this front, it will be a much more cooler air mass. So that drops temperatures back into the mild territory. And then we just got to get this cold front out of here along with these thunderstorms too. Then we'll be looking pretty calm for pretty much all of next week, really. Once we get the thunderstorms out of here, going into the overnight hours, we will see things coming down considerably, if not completely, by the time we hit sunrise Sunday morning. But again, that northwest breeze behind the front brings in the upper 40s and even lower 50s to start Sunday morning out. So it's hard to believe it was almost short and shirt weather today, or shorts and t-shirt weather today. And we're we'll going back to jacket weather as we start Sunday out. And even going throughout the day, it will be quite a bit cooler. Let's say 20 to 25 degrees cooler tomorrow than we were today. Afternoon highs only look to top out, mainly in the lower 60s. So overall, let's say around Joplin, we start at 50 degrees. Outlying areas, upper 40s to lower 50s, with some cloud cover still hanging around. But the rest of the day, we will continue to clear things out, mostly sunny for the rest of the day, but only 58 by noon. And afternoon highs right around 62 degrees. Believe it or not, we will see temperatures cool down quite a bit going into Monday morning. Have a look at what the future track wants. It wants upper 30s and lower 40s to start Monday morning out. That could be one of the uh, coolest nights that we have seen so far this fall season as you roll into your Monday. Overnight lows right around 41 degrees and again upper 30s expected Monday morning. Then a nice jump back to 67 Monday afternoon, keeping skies mostly sunny. Same story on Tuesday, a bit milder with highs near 73. Then even with some passing cloud cover on to the middle of the week and into next weekend, we keep the rest of the week quiet overall with temperatures moderating back into the mid-70s. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.